Easily 3 star the 2020 challenge. This is version 2. Welcome my friends. I do want to be real with you for 30 seconds. If you want to skip to the guide, I've got video chapters and this is the timestamp. I know the 2020 challenge is a tough one. Some are harder than others based on the troops we are given. Please consider the comments and messages you are sending creators. We are only human. We are only trying to help you. I personally just want to send positive vibes and help you get the 3 star. That being said, since this is a tough challenge and there was a lot of people struggling with it, I did want to bring you a version 2 in case my first method wasn't working for you. I did take huge inspiration from my buddy Carbon Finn with this, I'll link his channel in the description. I've modified things slightly to make it consistent for me, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would obviously recommend so we don't have a large percentage of viewers subscribed. Okay, Grand Warden, just make sure he is on air mode. Then we're going to take the Archer Queen, place her right at the top of the base. When she starts attacking the second gold mine, place a skeleton spell on top of the laboratory and two balloons to each of the mortars. This takes down the mortar and the Tesla next to it. Your Archer Queen will then get the Town Hall. Down to the southern area of the base, Battle Blimp right at the bottom there followed by the rage just below the eagle and two balloons at either side of the wizard tower pop the battle blimp when it gets over the top of the eagle sometimes the yetis could take out this entire compartment by themselves but i found it a little bit inconsistent so i added the balloons in that manner a minion right at the bottom there too this next bit happens a little bit quick but you're placing the barbarian king at three o'clock followed by all of the Inferno Dragons across this area and your six balloons, followed by the Grand Warden. As they move to this first compartment, Warden ability. That should get most of them. You're going to use a Skeleton Spell on top of the single, followed by a Freeze Spell, then a Skeleton Spell into each of these compartments as I just did. Now you can wait a second or two, just allow things to progress, and a second Skeleton Spell into this area again, just for that single. As the King passes the air defense, press his ability. This will force the Inferno Dragons in towards the middle. You can use the Minion and Archer down there, just in case any buildings are missed on the inside. As the King approaches the Mortar, use the Royal Champion from 6 o'clock. And basically, you're keeping an eye for when any Inferno Dragons get in range of that air defense. When they do, just constantly freeze it. You can hit the Scatter as well. As the Royal Champion approaches this back area, use a Skeleton Spell there. And again, just focusing on that 10 o'clock air defense. As any Inferno Dragons are in range, freeze it. RC ability could go off by itself, but try to keep it if you can. If the single target Inferno is on it, you might have to use it. If the air defense has gone down and you still have a freeze, you can use that freeze on the single Inferno. My first method was more of a spam approach. This one, whilst the strategy is spam, it's a little bit more surgical, so I'm confident you will get it with one of those methods. Best of luck, my friends. And if you do want to see the 2021 guide, I have that linked on your screen. Enjoy the rest of your day.